Hey y'all, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm Shantae Marie. I'm a lifestyle vlogger here on YouTube and I'm so excited to be doing another Military Monday. So in today's episode of Military Monday, we are still going to be talking about the ASVAB test. I told you guys this was a series here on my channel, so be sure that if you're new, you go ahead and hit the subscribe button so you can see more videos like this on my channel. And if you're returning, thank you so much. I will make sure that I have the previous videos linked in the bottom for you. If you haven't seen them, they will also be linked up here for you guys, and I will make sure that I have them easily accessible for you guys to see. So I have been in the process of retaking my ASVAB test, which I explained in a previous video, and I'm really trying to share the information that I am receiving with you guys, especially if you're new to taking the ASVAB and you just have questions. I think today's video is going to be very beneficial because today we are actually going to be discussing exactly what the ASVAB consists of. So you know which areas you need to focus on because everybody kind of has a sense of what they may or may not be good at. And even if you don't know for a fact, this is going to pinpoint the areas that you need to focus on if you're trying to study. All right, so to start off with, number one is going to be to understand that the ASVAB test is broken down into subcategories. If you are joining the Army, I'm Army, so that's really all that I know and all that I can speak on, but the ASVAB is broken down into different line scores. There are 10 of these scores, and these line scores are actually composed of different categories that make up that one score. So you're probably like, okay, I'm lost, I'm confused. That was so confusing. I'm gonna break it down for you. The 10 areas that the ASVAB is broken down to are general science, arithmetic reasoning, word knowledge, paragraph comprehension, numerical operations, coding speed, auto and shop information, mathematics knowledge, mechanical comprehension, and electronics information. So that is 10 categories of information that you are going to be tested over. Now those 10 categories are going to be combined to make up the different line scores on your ASVAB test. So, when I said in my previous video that you needed to make sure that your GT score on your ASVAB test was at least a 110 or higher, I simply said that because the GT line score tends to be a score that specific MOSs go off of. It is also the line score that they go off of for becoming an officer. So if you plan to attend OCS, you definitely need to make sure you have at least a 110. I do not believe, unless there's a waiver that I don't know about, which we all know, there's a waiver for everything, uh, you need to have a 110 or higher because when it comes to going to like Bullock and stuff, they need you to have those line scores. All right, so I'm going to tell you what each of those 10 categories actually consist of for you to be able to look into what you should study. Now, number one was general science. I have this written down on my notes section, but general science measures the knowledge of life science, earth and space science. It also measures physical science. Uh, oh, I think I said arithmetic. Arithmetic reasoning it measures the ability to solve basic arithmetic word problems. Word knowledge, it measures the ability to understand the meaning of words through synonyms. That is why in my previous video, I am literally giving you guys the 300 words that are going to be on your test. Those 300 words, if you make sure that you remember those words or at least have seen them before, those are the 300 words that they pick from for the ASVAB test and I'm literally handing them to you. So really make sure that you guys are writing down the synonyms and the definition and studying through those 300 words. The last video I did, I gave you guys two of the 
list of words. Today I'm going to be giving you five more of the list of words. After that five will be at eight and there are 11 lists. So I should have, I think I'm gonna have two more videos in this series after this one. So by the end of the series, you will have all 300 words to study. And that's like me giving you free knowledge right there for your test. So paragraph comprehension is gonna measure the ability to obtain information and in written material. Paragraph comprehension is another area that in my class we are focusing on. And I do have ways to make sure that you understand how paragraph comprehension works. I think a lot of people do get hung up on that area of the ASVAB test, so stay tuned for that in another video. Mathematics knowledge is gonna measure your knowledge of mathematical concepts and applications, which is why I gave you addition, subtraction, multiplication, and keywords that are gonna help you in a word problem to determine which one of those math situations you're going to be doing. Electronics information will measure your knowledge of electrical current, circuits, devices, devices, and electronic systems. Auto and shop information will measure your knowledge of automotive maintenance and repair. It will also look at woodworking and metal shop practices. Uh, mechanical comprehension measures the knowledge of the principles of mechanical devices, structural support, and the properties of materials. You are also going to have to look into assembling objects. This is the last category and it will measure your ability with spatial relationships. So I'm not gonna lie, when I took my first ASVAB test, I really struggled with the mechanical stuff because I'm just not like mechanically savvy. Like I'm not even kidding when I tell you I can't even hang a picture frame on the wall. Like it just doesn't work out for me. So. I definitely feel like if you Google just the specific categories that is going to help you, but also I want to go back to this book that I showed you guys in video number one of this series. And I'm not sponsored by this book or anything. This is just a book that I purchased with my own money that I feel is really beneficial for you guys. But the ASVAB flashcards book, it even says Army, Air Force, Navy, Marines, and Coast Guard. So it's for everyone. And this is, those simple um, flashcards that have the question on one side and then on the other side it has the answers. Not only does it have just the answer, but it tells you exactly how to come to the answer. So it shows you the work to solving the problem. But if you open to page one, it has the 10 categories that I just went over with you. And when you are going through this book, it tells you at the top, like this one says mathematics knowledge. Um, this one says paragraph comprehension. So this book separates it into all of those categories. And I believe ASVAB for Dummies does it a little bit as well. But those categories are what you want to be looking up if you're trying to study like on Google and whatnot. Yes. The next thing I wanted to cover was just to make sure that you guys understand that there are specific scores on your line scores that you need to get. There's a job that you want you need to get online and figure out exactly what the line score is going to be typically on like goarmy.com i believe um, any website really that you look up specific mos's it is going to tell you under like the key requirements or whatever that it'll say like this requires a 95 GT score. And when you take your ASVAB and they give you, there's a little piece of paper, they'll give it to you or your recruiter, and that piece of paper has each individual line score on it. So you have to get the scores that it says. And oftentimes, once again, there are waivers, there's ways to get around it, but you wanna try to get as close to that score or get higher than that score as possible so that you can get the MOS that you want. All right, so along with those composite scores, I wrote down exactly what each line score is actually putting together. So I really hope that I'm making sense when I'm saying this, but I think this is gonna bring together what I'm trying to say. Now, when you take the AFQT, which is what I'm taking, that is the retest of the ASVAB, that's what it's called, the AFQT um, is focusing on that GT score, which is why I'm doing that. And 
if you ever plan to retake your ASVAB, that is the test you will do because that test consists of paragraph comprehension, word knowledge, mathematics knowledge, and arithmetic reasoning. If you are looking for clerical, uh, clerical is would be if you were trying to go to be like a 42 alpha, word knowledge, paragraph comprehension, arithmetic reasoning and mathematic knowledge. All four of those categories will be combined together to give you your CL line score. Um, combat, it's the line score is CO. Uh, combat has word knowledge, paragraph comprehension, auto and shop and mechanical comprehension. Your electronics line score, the line will be uh, labeled EL and it is general science, arithmetic reasoning, mathematics knowledge, and electronic information. Field artillery, FA, arithme uh, arithmetic reasoning, mathematics, no mathematics knowledge, and mechanical comprehension. General maintenance, GM, general science, auto and shop, mathematics knowledge, and electronics information. Auto and shop, mechanical comprehension, and electronic information. Operators and foods, OF. If you were, I think it's a 92 golf. I could be lying. Um, if you wanted to be a cook. Uh, word knowledge, paragraph comprehension, auto and shop, and mechanical comprehension. Surveillance and communications, SC. That's what I needed for my MOS, and I think I had to have like a 95 in that. But that line score is gonna consist of word knowledge, paragraph comprehension, arithmetic reasoning, auto and shop, and mechanical comprehension. Now, skilled technical is the last area. This line score is ST, and, and it's gonna be word knowledge, paragraph comprehension, general science, mechanical comprehension, and mathematics knowledge. So, there are calculators. If you get online and type in um, ASVAB line score calculator. You can go in and it will actually have, uh, focus. Okay, you can go in and it will actually have like these little squares and you can put in the line score that you got on each of those squares or if you're like, okay, I'm really good at word knowledge, paragraph comprehension and a couple of other ones. I think that I could get perfects on those parts of the ASVAB test. You can go in and guesstimate what you think you're going to get, what MOSs you would actually qualify for. So that's really helpful. I'll leave. It's really going to help you in taking your ASVAB test. I think that understanding how the ASVAB actually works in the different categories and how they're separated is also going to help you as well. Now, I am not a professional, like I'm not a recruiter or anything, and I don't know that a recruiter would actually know this. I feel like they would because they're obviously supposed to be trying to help you, but I would definitely try and figure out um, if you struggle in an area, you could score higher in another area. For instance, this is just an example, but for my test, I know that I'm awesome at paragraph comprehension and the word knowledge. I struggle in the arithmetic reasoning and stuff like that. So if I score perfects on knowing the synonyms of the words and if I score, if I only miss like one or two in those areas, then if I do bad in the math portions, I can make up for that, so um, in the, my math section, I know for a fact that I do not wanna miss more than five questions. Because if I miss more than five questions and then I also miss more than two questions in the paragraph comprehension and word knowledge portions, it's gonna end up screwing me in the end. I know this because my teacher went through and basically wrote it on the board of what, how we could do to still come out with at least a 110 GT score. But, to know how to use what you're good at to your advantage. So, I am about to go because this video is hella long. I am open to answering any questions that you may have to the best of my ability. Make sure that you check out my social media and I will talk to you guys in my next video. Uh, if you're new, make sure you subscribe, turn on notifications so you can see next Military Monday and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye guys.